In this video, I will show you how to analyze a financial instrument from scratch. I will use the DAX index, the most important index for German stock market. But don't worry, because you can use the same methodology for all the other instruments all across the globe. First of all, this is the overview, okay, the first page of the forecaster terminal for every instrument is the overview. And this is a 10-year chart. What's it's very interesting regarding this overview chart is that together with the price of the instrument, you can also have plotted directly on the chart the net income. And as you can see here, you have both the price of the DAX and the net income. And of course, you can also have the sales and the price earning, the TTM and the price earning weighted. Today, we will talk about the net income because something really interesting is happening right now on the DAX and the net income because look, the net income for the entire index, it means we take all the single companies that, co uh, that compose the index and we sum the net income for all the single companies and we get what we can call an aggregated net income for all the entire index, is going down. Look, and this is something that happened here in 2019 between 2019 and 2020. And of course, you remember that at the very beginning of the year, it was the beginning of 2020, the market went down. Of course, the market went down in this case for the COVID pandemic, but the situation get worse because also of the net income from company went that dropped during the 2019. And on the German index, this is exactly what is happening right now. The stock market is going up. We are on the all-time high. But fundamentally speaking, the net income is going down. And this is a bad sign because we know that in the long run, prices of the index of a stock tend to reach the so-called balance point, which is the net, in net, income uh, net income level plotted on the chart. So starting from the overview, we can definitely say that we can start to, to search for a downward movement for a short trade, because this is something that already happened in 2019, 2020. And so we can try to focus on a short trade, okay? So now we can switch, we can go to seasonality, which is the second layer. And here it's very simple because thanks to the correlation, we know that the current year, which is how the prices are moving right now, the current year is very highly correlated with the five years seasonality, okay? What you can see on the chart here in blue is the five-year seasonality, which is an average of the last five years of the DAX chart, okay? Very simple. We take the 2024, 2023, 2022, 2021, 2020, and we do an average of the chart so we can understand if in a specific time period, these specific instruments tend to move in a specific way. And this is exactly what happening between the, the mid of September and the very beginning of October on the DAX. Because if we scroll down the page and we ask the system what would be what what happened in the past five years, 
if we were shorting the DAX exactly in these dates, we had an 80% winning rate with an average return of 3.5%. Okay? So definitely, this is a time window where the DAX tend to drop. We can also add a 10-year seasonality in order to understand if this uh, um, pattern will rep repeat also in 10 years. And yes, because in the past 10 years, 70% of times we had a gain for, with a short trade with an average return of 2.9%. Okay, so seasonality speaking, we have a confirmation that we can search for a short trade. Okay, I will I will uh, reply to all your questions. So now we can jump again in another layer. We can go to projection in order to understand if it's time or not to sell. And here we have. Two different projections. We have the three month and the one month. So let's start with the three month. In this case, we see that we have a positive, a bullish projection based on two cases. Okay. But what's it, what is important, we have to understand how this projection is made. Because as you can see here from the chart, before to make a new high, based on these two past events, okay, we have a drop. If you lost the explanation of projection, you can go to our YouTube channel, which is forecaster.biz. Here we are. And you can see all this video that give you a very deep understanding of what projection is. But very simple, we take this period on the chart, which in this case is three months, the system, thanks to artificial intelligence and pattern recognition, goes back in time, okay, and find all the pieces in the history of the chart that moved exactly like this one, okay? And in this case, the system, thanks to AI, found two different cases, one in 2010 and one in 2024, in May 2024, okay? Very simple. So, we know what that in these two cases in the past, the prices moved exactly like they are doing right now, like they did in the past three months. So we ask what happened next? And here we have what happened next. And we have the most correlated event, which, which was in 2024. And this is exactly in the blue line you can see how prices moved after this pattern in 2024, okay? And this is the single event. So you have the blue one, which is the most correlated. Another one, which is here in green. And so you have the average long, which is this one exactly in the middle, okay? This is just an average, okay? So here we can see something interesting because we have a drop of 7% or a drop or minus 3.68% if we use the average before to see the market going up again. Okay. So very interesting because we can, we can, we can expect a drop. If we switch to one month pre uh, projection, we have something very interesting here because as for the three month, we have a first phase 
where we have a drop. And in this case, it's very interesting because look, if we go to see what the best match is telling us, we have a projection of a very important low in the 8th of October. Look, it's here. I can zoom it to you. This is the projected low and it will be if the most correlated case, uh, uh, if the prices will move exactly like the most correlated case, it will be on the 8th of October. And if we go to seasonality, we can definitely see that the very low year on the seasonality, it, it, it's expected for, for the 8th of October. Very interesting. So, as you can see, we are using different methods of analysis in order to have uh, a more a more uh, powerful uh, project, a more powerful analysis, okay? A more trustful analysis, okay? So here we are. This is the month. We have 57% of downward movement probability. Of course, this is not a very strong projection as the forecaster is telling us, but thanks to the fact that we are using different tools together, we can definitely uh, we can definitely see that the downward movement is uh, likely to happen. Yes, very. we can have a solid analysis, says Anil is saying in the chat. Okay, so we can go through the overbought and oversold, where I tell you, we do not have very interesting information right now because the market mood meter is here in the middle, so it's not happening nothing very special is happening and then we can jump to the ranking page where we can find that the dax is 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 quietly undervalued right now and so another drop the drop we expect will push this specific market in a very undervalued situation close to 20% that will be a very important buying point, okay? So, as you, as you saw in this analysis, we can expect a drop, so we can go short on the market, and then once it will drop, we can buy strong for a new all-time high, as the projection is suggesting to us, okay? Where we can plot a target price. Let's go to Yahoo Finance where I will find a chart for you. <coughs> Here we are. We can go on the DAX. Very simple. Here we are. Today is going down. <laughs> I'm very happy because I, I did this same webinar this morning at the opening of the markets here in Europe. And uh, of course, I shared exactly this. Uh, this trade and everybody are writing to me on Instagram. Wow, look, you're short. But by the way, here we are. And what we can expect is a continuation of this movement, of course. And I will have a target here on this very important law. Here, I will close my short position when this law will be broken by prices. Okay, Anil is, is saying to me, and he, on the overbought and oversold, the show divergence for downward trend. At the moment, on the overbought and oversold page, actually we don't, we do not have a very significant uh, information or indication because we are experiencing a very sideways movement here, so we do not have very interesting uh, um, divergence between prices and and uh, and and the uh, and the indicators so at the moment uh, i don't get very interesting information from here by the way we are short and we have a target here um, the target is calculated thanks to seasonality 
because as you can see, we can get, we can have a target based on seasonality. This is very interesting, guys, because look, we can expect the low for the 8th of October, which is exactly what the projection is saying. And here we are. We can have a target between 3.5% and 3.1%. So a 3% target, it will be amazing, in, in my opinion. And if we go on the chart, starting from this morning, a 3% target, it's very close to this low. So I really like to put my target on a, on a very important level like this support. That's it. This is how I trade. Ali, I did the exact, the exact trade, this exact trade on the FTSE 100. Exact. Exactly, exactly. I love the DAX because uh, I really love to trade the DAX, but the FTSE 100 is very similar to the DAX. That's it. So as you can see, we can use the forecaster. When you use the forecaster, please use in combination all the layer you have because if you have the same analysis, the same, let's say, forecast, the same opinion on different layers, it means you will have, a, you have a very solid analysis, okay? Tufik, not cut report for the DAX? No, because it doesn't exist. You do not have a, a cut report for the DAX. If you go here, it, it doesn't exist. You cannot find it on the CFTC Commission website. And you can find the Dow Jones, the, Dow Jones, the Nasdaq, the Russell, the S&P 500, and the VIX. But for European index, you do not have the COT report. COT is only for US.